All right, this is Oracle Seasons Randomizer Archipelago Edition. We are playing on new version here, version 0.9F. This version was just released earlier today. Uh, whole bunch of new things. We got lots of new randomization options. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll get into as we go, because I can't remember all of them off the top of my head. But yeah, we're, we're just trying things out, we're testing things, seeing how the new version is, make sure there's no bugs, all that fun stuff. There's a treasure map. And we got ourselves a sword! So let's go check out the Meku Tree. Find out how many essences we need. We need four. And let's find out what's going on here. Some rupees. And that's about it. So yeah, I think for sure there's a bug with uh, finishing with Ganon. Uh, we tried to see it earlier. Every time we left the Maker Tree screen, <laughs> uh, it it just broke. Like the game just broke. So um, yeah. Getting a lot of good stuff early on. So yeah, un unfortunately we're not able to access Ganon right now, but hopefully in the future that will be fixed. Alright, looks like we have what looks like a Autumn Singularity. So one of the things that has existed in the randomizer has been the potential to randomize seeds in general, like the seasons in general, or randomize all of them together. So you get one single seed. Oh, and there's, there's something new. There is our Ghastly Doll. So Ghastly Doll has finally found its way off of Maple. Maple is now officially randomized. And there's, there's a, an example of a new thing, uh, <laughs> key locking a key, so key is not accessible. Uh, do I want the bombs or the key? Ooh, this is, this is a tricky one. I think we go after the bombs real quick. Let me just confirm that this is not randomized. Yeah, it's it's just all singularity. Pretty sure. Uh, it's not key sanity. Um, it's just the overworld, the dungeon keys exist. And uh, certain things can lock themselves. So now keys can lock themselves. So you're not necessarily going to be able to get everywhere unless you turn on accessibility locations.
Alright, Master Black. So I think I have to get more rupees and get that key. No, it's not, it doesn't mean an impossible seed is possible. Uh, it just means that anything that's key locked is just not going to be progression. You're going, you're going to find ways to just shorten seeds, potentially. What's up, Omega? Thanks for the good luck. Okay, so I got bombs. <laughs> I got bombs there. This has got to be an issue, right? Because there's not enough... There's not enough rupees. <sighs> yeah, so I have to go back. I have to go back. Oh, it, it doesn't let me now. It automatically saves after buying. So that's not good. <laughs> that means we're going to have to farm. So, I have to get the key. And there's no other way for me to get the key. There's not enough rupees for me to buy everything. And that's one of the issues with having so much available early on. Because I bought so many things already, but I actually cannot make progress without buying the key. So we'll be here for a bit. For a very long time. So I don't think I can get fivers. And I don't think there's any precautions put in place for preventing you from having to buy literally everything this early. I guess... I guess technically Blano... Fighting Blano is probably the fastest way to get rupees here. Just fighting Blano over and over. It's not fun, but... I guess we gotta do it. So yeah, the, the logical progression is just going to be <laughs> fight Blano a million times till we get enough rupees, which is not really fun. I guess I only have to fight him like four times, but still.
If you give someone an option to buy six things, and then require them to buy six things... Immediately. Like... It's not... not fun. Have I ever done Minish Cap 100%? I have, like, casually 100% of the game. Uh, I haven't done the speedrun. Because there's, like, there's a spot in the speedrun where you have to just do the figurine game for, like, 45 minutes, I think. Something like that. Something really obnoxiously long. Alright, so we now have access to a dungeon. Let's see which dungeon it is. Of course. Wouldn't expect it any other way. There's our feather. And you know what? If I bought the key first, I would have been able to guarantee rubies. It's just because I didn't buy the key. Instead went for the bombs. And I didn't realize that I was locked into buying one or the, or the other. Like, usually you can save scum, but in this, you can't. Oh no! Don't do this to me, game. Don't you dare. It's gonna do this to me. <laughs> Alright, let's go get the rupees. Yeah, D6 has a rupee room. You're, we're gonna see it right now. I'm literally getting every single shop item right now. <laughs> also, a uh, new feature in this version is bomb upgrades. Every time you get a bomb drop, like, from an item, it's going to give you an extra 10 to your, your total. So it does help out a little bit. Yeah, as you, in, in your max. So you start out with 10. Now I have 20. Uh, you can max out at 99. Same thing goes with the uh, the satchels. All three satchels are in the the seeds, so you can get to 99 satchel. All right, how many rupees do I need? 80. Okay. And if I want, I can come back and get a bomb upgrade, but I don't think I need it. Not right now. Instead, we are going on a massive adventure. <laughs> There's another bomb. That's another bomb upgrade. The bomb upgrades keep coming. If only I knew we were going to get so many bomb upgrades, I would have went for the key first.
But this is learning for next time, right? Next time we absolutely take whatever else is available, and the key comes later. Or the bombs come later. Because we're going to get a lot more. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure Impa still only refills 10 bombs, but... It's not a big deal. Uh, let me just check which animal companion this is. Uh, it's Moosh, okay. So yeah, we can get across. So we could do a lot of things. I'm just gonna come over here so I can hit up the, uh, the Ghastly Doll as well as hit up the seed tree here for later. Yeah, it can be a logical weapon, but you can't refill it. Yeah, that's kind of tricky. Let's go ahead and make our way to the other side of the map. I wonder what's gonna happen here. Like, we're gonna lose, like, 30 bombs. I think that's what's gonna end up happening. Hold on. I can make this jump. It's a bomb jump, right? Pretty sure this is a bomb jump with, uh, without Pegasus Seeds. Easy bomb jump. But I, I don't think she fills you back up to max. That's the issue. With bombs being a logical weapon, you want to have max bombs before going anywhere. And if she can only refill 10, then uh, that's an issue with using them as a weapon. I mean, we'll figure out, right? We'll play around with this. We'll do the, the kids. We'll... We'll actually test it. We'll go back and do the warp. Like, I'll save beforehand. We'll do a little bit of testing. I just have to do the Dimitri... Dimitri event. Oh, there's the bomb flower! <laughs> That's a good spot for the bomb flower, honestly. So yeah, bomb flower is... Now, uh, shuffled in, along with everything else. Alright. So, confirm. They took everything. Everything. So even if I have 99 bombs, we lose them all. The next thing we're going to confirm is whether or not we get our 30 bombs back. I guess... 
Let me let me save first just in case we get a bomb drop here. Cause I could very well just get a bomb drop and ruin my entire testing. Alright, no bomb drop! So we'll continue on, we'll do a save scum to test that. I'll look at the tree, we'll go talk to the Great Moblin again. <laughs> this is one of my favorite little interactions. Uh, I'm not actually going to talk to him, but he's now here. Say hello. <laughs> And now, confirm. Ten bombs. Only ten bombs. Dino's asking about the Meku trash. I'm in. I pretty much told him what I think it is. Uh, I did talk to her twice, actually, and she still only gave me 10 bombs. Also, nice little change here. It's stairs instead of uh, a vine, so you can access this in any season. We don't know how many we have to kill, so uh, we'll just kill whatever golden enemies we find. Uh, can't do anything without seeds or Magna Glove here. So I'm not too concerned about that dungeon. I really want to get bombs back, honestly. <laughs> How often do you find the Master Sword? I mean, it depends. Depends on how much of the game you're clearing out. If you're clearing out all the game, then you're gonna find it eventually. How do I only have 50? Did I not get two? I think I only... I thought I got two. Or maybe not. Alright, Union, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate the gift sub as well. Asking for the password data? Okay. Let me... Let me upload that real quick.
There we go. Oh, if I only had a bomb. If I only had a bomb, then I could get to the other side. Well, we have plenty of things that we could check and hopefully get a bomb drops from. I mean, there's still a decent amount of them in the item pool. If not, I leave, come back, and we just do the bomb jump later. I am assuming mountain means the vanilla. So we have the bomb flower, so I can go ahead and do this. Bomb flower doesn't show up on the uh, tracker. Or wait, it's there, but it didn't. It didn't track. Yeah, bomb flower is there. So I realize I have the rusty bell. I forgot I got it, honestly. Wait, did I get... Yeah, I have the rusty bell. So I should go turn that in. I'll turn it in maybe on our way back. See where this leads. Uh, top. Okay. I, I don't know why I, I went out there. I know it's, <laughs> I know it's gonna be autumn. Oh, that's a great shop. So the potion for star-shaped ore, and then nothing else is there. That's cool. So we don't need ore chunks today. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Tracker is definitely getting fleshed out a lot more. Because there's a lot more things to do. Speaking of things to do... <laughs> Hold on. One. Two. Three. Four. I don't know if that first one counted. We'll call that four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. So... Sign guy exists now. 
Hello, sign guy. Oh no. I accidentally reset. Um, never mind. Hey! He had a satchel! <laughs> sign guy had a satchel. Let's go. And it was scent seeds. And there's lower. Okay. So yeah, sign guy, you can set how many signs you have to destroy. I set it to 10. That's the default. Like, 10, 10 seems okay. It's not anything too crazy. It's not 100, like, the vanilla. Uh, you can set it to random, so you can have to destroy a random amount of signs. Alright, he, he's investigating the tree bug, okay. Alright, I'm gonna go get bombs. We're gonna turn in the bell. We'll be right back. Nice easy bomb jump. We just gotta get bombs. Oh, I guess, in theory, hold on, this this works. This works. <laughs> the theory on this works really well. Boom. There we go. Though I probably should be going to seed trees now. I probably have access to Pegasus seed somewhere that I don't remember off the top of my head. But this is more fun. It is way more fun to just bomb jump everywhere. And I only have to do that bomb jump once because now I have the shortcut. No, the 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 cleaned bell is not randomized. Uh, the Rusty Bell is. Oh, the cooking pot! Well, I guess we're bomb jumping again. <laughs> uh, because it's actually faster to bomb jump. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Nice ore chunks. Yeah, I don't know if I'd want the clean bell to be randomized. On one hand, that means you could feasibly get access to the dungeon without having access to the other side. But on the other hand, it's one more item you have to find. Like you would never you would never really need the rusty bell. You just need the clean one. 
So I guess it just replaces the Rusty Bell, essentially. Oh, hello! Time to dig. So, digging spots have now been added to the randomizer. We're going on an adventure, digging everywhere. So all the golden ore spots are now added in. So, all of them are going to be done right now. One day we will see a seed use the charge ring. One day. Oh, hello, Slingshot! Yeah, it's essentially a trade quest item. So, it, yeah, it's fair. Uh, where is this one? This one's up here. I forgot where a couple of these were. Thankfully, you can set it to show the dig spots. I mean, I know where the hidden ones are, so I'm not too concerned about that. It's just remembering the little locations here and there. And there's flippers, so everything's here. Yeah, that's true. That until they figured out the inventory situation, with things getting overwritten, uh, you probably don't want to do that. Yeah, I'll... Dude, these volcanoes are on point. Yeah, doing everything by memory is very, very difficult now. With as many things as there are. Alright, Mount Cuckoo is vanilla. Yeah, if you, if you can't see it in-game, then uh, without a tracker, you could easily forget about it. But that's something that just needs to be addressed in the game. Ah, uh, yeah. That is all dig spots. Or... Oh, I... Did that one not... I got that one. Yeah. Yeah, that one didn't go. Oh, no, wait! That's not all dig spots, technically. <laughs> There's one spot. But you don't need the shovel for this. Surprise! Hide and seek's back. And it has a random item. <laughs> You only have to do this once, thankfully, but uh, I believe there is <laughs> potentially an option to do more than that. This pattern's different. Did they add the random patterns? I hope not. Because I'm used to, like, the one-set pattern. 
But after you do it the first time, you get random patterns and stuff. You can. Like, you can go back and talk to them. And do them again. I, I think, like, if you go back in the house, you get another set. I don't remember what, like, what the reason for it is. But we're about to experience our next new thing, which is now the combination. One, 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 three, three, one, two, one. So it's one, 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 three. Oh, hold on. One, 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 three, three, one, two, one. Okay. There we go. So, random combination for the entrance to the desert. Okay. Lake leads to pirates. And you know what that means? Uh, the random combination means you have to come here. I mean, you, you have to come here anyway, right? But, the length of the combination also can change, so <laughs> you can do up to 40 combinations, which is insane. Uh, the vanilla is just 8, which is fine, but 40. That could take a while. Oh, there, there's a boomerang. That's nice to find. Especially since we already have D6. Oh! We have D1. Or D... D4 here. This is doable, honestly. Yeah, this, this is actually doable. I'm a little concerned because the way I can do it, I have to get Ember Seeds out of Logic, but I'm okay with that. Yeah, a little check mark next to the turned in trade items would be really nice. Just so you can see at a glance which ones you've already done. Cause I I won't remember which ones I've done. Let's see, I did the the cooking pot and the ghastly doll. I have not done any of the other ones. I feel like every time you watch these, Snakes Remains is D8. I mean, that's not out of the realm of possibility. I don't know why that seems to be very likely, but... It's a thing. Oh, you know what? Because I can't get the Ember Seeds until... 
until after doing the minecart. I really hope the minecart doesn't have anything. Oh yeah, the, the combination thing has been addressed so that you can get it anytime, even if you've already uh, sailed with the pirates. The one guy stays behind. So unfortunately, I cannot get this check, because I don't have Ember Seeds. Instead, we'll, uh, we'll dance in the minecart. Too bad. We got our seeds. We got our ember seeds. Which just opened up a whole bunch of things. Oh, I forgot to save before doing the door. Oh well. Uh, I guess we save now. <laughs> this either way, now I'm thinking about it. Whether it's pot push or uh, Vanilla Bosky. What am I missing? I'm missing Compass Key and Bosky. Okay, so nothing here. I guess just one item. Yeah, there's Compass Key boss key one item. And there's the item. It was not what we needed. So, uh, pop push first. Pop push first and then we trek through the remainder of the dungeon for the minecart. That worked out really, really well. Let's 
So now we just beat the dungeon. We know there's nothing else here. There's a key, and there's a, uh... Compass. Compass is probably... I guess it doesn't matter, right? It's... It could be key lock, or it could just be, uh... Compass on boss. One of the two. <laughs> it's about the same either way. Course. Fourteen. Yeah, that pattern was not not nice at all. But there is our first essence out of four, I believe. I forgot how many we needed. I'm pretty sure it's four. But yeah, now we get to try out something new. Which is the old men. Old men are now a part of the item pool. So they will give me random items instead of rupees. So there's a lot going on. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how many, uh, how many golden beasts we need to do, so I am going to go ahead and kill the Dark Nut. Before I leave here. I need to figure out where my Gale Seeds and Pegasus Seeds are. Uh... No. I don't have... I don't have the egg. If I had the egg, then, then we do Maple, but we don't. Don't you just love the Golden Dark Nut? Great stuff. Okay. Edging Grease is interesting. There's a star-shaped ore, so we can turn that in for a potion, if we really wanted to. But I'm not going to. You have a gash of seed. Alright, there's our Pegasus Seeds. Okay. There's our Go Fast. Let's go fast. We 
Wait, why does it say I have access to the old man here when it's when I don't have summer? Alright, uh, this one, I don't remember the exact location, if it's middle or bottom. I think it's bottom. Yeah, th <laughs> there, there's one in Woods of Winter, near Holly's house, too. Those are the two door repair, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there's only two door repair. Now I get the egg. There's the lava soup, okay. Uh You know what? I'm checking this for the dungeon entrance. We haven't seen dungeon entrance yet. And location wise we have Village and here. One of them's volcano, one of them's dungeon, so 50 50. Alright, there's our dungeon. What do we got? Hit me with a D1, let's go. Nice D1. And the satchel upgrade, dude! But not a key lock D1. You couldn't give me that. But we do get a boss key immediately. I take those. I always take those. Yeah, now we got a million Pegasus Seeds. The only thing is we don't have our Gale Seeds yet. Yo, Vero with the Prime Gaming, appreciate it. Welcome to the Button Ashies. And of course, <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! The key's on the boss every time! You gotta do, you gotta do the boss. Yeah, Aquamantis has the small key way too many times. Giving your rando child support. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, we got Mirror Shield already. That's actually kind of surprising. I would prefer to get the swords over the <laughs> the shields, but I'll take the shields, I guess. They don't really do anything for me. They'll just uh, collect dust in my inventory. Yeah, shield really only has one use. 
It's literally one room in the game. Yeah, it doesn't even help you in, like, the end game fights at all. The first room in D3, where you have to flip over the beetles. That's the only place where a shield actually matters. And actually, oh no! There is one other room where having a shield is actually useful, and that is the side scroller in D5. The one where the uh, Bowser heads are shooting fireballs at you. You can block the fire the fireballs. Oh, specifically mirror shield. Yeah. Mirror shield just looks cool. That's it. There's a ribbon. Alright, where am I going? I think I want to go check the tree. So I have not. Oh! We have the egg. Egg! Eggbert! And it got me summer! It got me summer! Alright, now that I have summer... Now things are starting to, to cook a little bit. Do I prefer Trade Sequence Maple, or First Encounter Maple? I kinda like the Trade Sequence because it's guaranteed that you get the item. Whereas the First Encounter Maple from the Upstream Rando, um, you still have to fight her for it. Oh, hold on. I have to change it back. I have to do this. But those are technically separate checks. Like, you could... Maybe have her have another item. It would put more emphasis on Maple. Ah, uh, do I want to do Vanilla 5? I guess. I don't really want to because I don't have Magic Glove, but I can do 90% of the dungeon. And this dungeon kind of isn't great without Magic Like. It's not a great dungeon. Just getting, like, any items out of it. Does not have the value. But, we're here. And maybe we get a French Vanilla Magnet Glove. That would be nice. Let's 
Let's see. I probably would want to go back and finish six. That's probably what I want to do. Can it be vanilla? Yeah, pretty sure. It can be vanilla if you get, like, the perfect block. Well, or you have the cape. If you have the cape, you can bypass most of the Magnet Glove stuff. But in order for it to be vanilla without cape, I think you need perfect key placement. Because the, the key door requires five keys, and realistically, you're not going to get five keys. do I have right now? I have... three? Uh, Big Ron's sword... does a good amount. Like, it's pretty strong. The only problem is it takes up two slots. I want to say it's... Is it equal to... The Noble Sword? It's either equal to Noble Sword or Master Sword. Oh, it, it's always been able to uh, break pots. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna get to do it. We're gonna get to show off the one spot in the game where I like to use this, the shield. This room right here. Of course, like none of the Bowser heads uh, spawn fireballs. Yeah, it doesn't even reflect. What what kind of mirror shield is this? What knockoff version of a mirror shield did we just get? Don't you just love this? <laughs> I love trying to kill things with the big Ron sword. <laughs> so much fun. Why am I doing this? <laughs> because it's fun. Alright, let's see if we can do it here. Yeah! Oh, this is actually really strong. That's actually a really good strat. Hold on. <laughs> That was really good for, for that room. Alright. And that does it for Dungeon 5. Until we find the Magnet Glove.
Same as the Master Sword, yeah. That's... that's what I was thinking. Kinda explains how strong it is, right? Alright, where am I going now? <laughs> I guess there's some stuff in town we can do. Yeah, the DPS is probably about the same as the... <laughs> the Noble, just because of how slow it swings. That's true. Oh? Oh? Uh, I don't think we're going to get these, but might as well see where they're at. Uh, Gora Mountain, Mount Kuko, in the shop, and inside D8. Cool. Floodgate key! Ooh! Hold on. We're cooking a little bit. That could get us into a dungeon. Oh! Oh, you know what? Watch this. Watch this. I don't even have to talk to him. <laughs> you can get combinations where you don't even have to talk to him. Yeah, Tim the Tool Man Taylor. <laughs> yeah, that was home improvement. Nice hard ore. So make it crash is when you have chaotic Horon season, but you can warp the start out of it. Interesting. Uh, it's not the same engine as Link's Awakening. It is actually very different. Yeah, they, they pretty much redid everything. So you're not gonna be able you're not gonna be able to see Oracle items in Link's Awakening at all. Cause none of them even exist. In that engine. Like, they had to re they had to build things specifically for this. You know what? I think we're probably in go mode, honestly. Let me play around with a few things. See if I can find where, uh... Where our Gale Seeds are. And then we just go. We just hit the gas. Because most likely... Yeah, the remaining dungeons... All the remaining dungeons are probably doable. We have two, three, and seven. I 
I'm not gonna do D8. I'm gonna grab this just because. Throwing a bomb using the slingshot, like a bomb arrow, would be sick. <laughs> that would be awesome. Alright, there they are. There's our Gale Seeds. Now I think we just... go? I want to see what, uh, what dungeon's at D3, now that we have Floodgate Key. Like, that's the big thing right now, is what's there. The other thing is, I could just keep checking all of Mount Kuko. Yeah, I, I think we just go. I think we just hit the gas. And run as fast as we can into the dungeon. I think the only dungeon we can't do is gonna be seven. That's only if we need a magnet glove. Everything else we can just kind of do. And then we can always just do six, just to get my fourth. Yeah, it's three. Vanilla three. Okay. Let's use the shield, because we can. So yeah, we're, we're in go mode. Like, this will get me enough. Six, we have not gotten any keys yet. So right side might just be key locked.
or... No, it, I don't think it can be key lock there. I think you're absolutely gonna have to get two keys. And then the third key is just gonna be on the right side. I think that's the way it has to be in D6. Because if you have access to fire... Then you can use a key there. You can use a key on the key block to go north of Spinner. Or you can use a key on the right side. There's too many options. So I think under that circumstance, it probably guarantees a key north of Spinner. Either that or, like, it guarantees a key... I don't know. Key logic in certain dungeons can be really annoying. <laughs> so fun seeing 75 bombs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, do I have enough bombs for facade? I don't think I do. Can we beat Facade with 75 bombs? Right, there's still a few checks here. Winter is pretty nice to have. Don't really need it. Yeah, there's items still. Yeah, because I only have to beat one more dungeon after this. So the odds of actually needing Winter are pretty low. If... actually, no. <laughs> I really just don't need it. Because I can just beat D6. Guaranteed. Oh no! <laughs> How did I fall? That was bad.
Yeah, I'll take it. Why not? Alright, that's three. Let's go grab number four. Oh, actually, no. Number four is there. Why do I keep thinking six was at two? It's at one. Definitely feels like we're less likely to find swords or uh, fools or or hearts even. Like it feels like every time I'm playing lately, I'm like low health, level one sword. But you know what? That's that's good. It's good. It keeps things interesting. I need the challenge, yeah. <laughs> There's actually a, uh, a thing in this new randomizer that we haven't turned on yet, which affects the combat. So it makes combat more difficult or more easy, depending on which way you do it. AKA, it just adds to your base damage, or removes from your base damage. So... <laughs> we could be doing, like, Fist Ring level damage. Or worse. I don't even know if it can get worse, honestly. <laughs> We're, we're just getting great luck today. Honestly, we just bomb them <laughs> the whole time. We have enough bombs. Like love is like a bomb, but bomb, ba bomb, ba bomb. Uh, do I have? I do not have Bosky. 
so we gotta go get our Bosky. Fool's or with... <laughs> it's not four times, it's, uh, plus. It's not times. So it'd be, like, 16 damage instead of 12. Or something like that if you do plus four. No, it's like the way that, uh, the power rings work. It just adds one damage. At least that's according to what I was reading. Maybe it works differently. We'll have to try it out at some point. But yeah, my interpretation of it was that it was plus, like, the power rings. Oh yeah, Master Sword with Red Ring, and then that on top of it would be insane. Oh, do I want to go for... No, it, it's got to be a key. Yeah, it's got to be a key. Never mind. Yeah, so t North of Spinner was guaranteed a key. We knew that. We pretty much knew that from the start. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> That's two. Third try. Yeah, if you go negative, you can actually use the power rings to get back to normal. But then you run into the issue of having that extra damage on top of that. Actually, does it increase the damage like a power ring? Like the damage you take? I don't know. Or if it's just the damage output. Because if it's literally just having a pre-equipped power ring, that would be very interesting. Like, double power ring. I'll take that. I will actually take that. That's a good find. I guess that didn't make that much of a difference. Right, it was four, yeah. Also, before I go, 
I'm going to show off uh, a new feature here. Mostly because I want to see where it is. Yeah. You get one item on the second floor for for level for three plus. Uh, you get another item for five. And then I believe the last one you get for seven. It's either seven or eight. Essences. So like as as you go through the seed, you get access to more things. Actually, I could probably look it up here. Uh, seven plus. Alright, I think I have enough bombs, but I'm going to save just in case. Uh, do I have any interesting rings here? I have a power ring. Honestly, that's not a bad idea to put on. Look, I'm gonna have 70 bombs left over. How will I ever cope with that? Actually, no, we're gonna have even more because I forgot which pot... <laughs> I forgot which pot had the... <laughs> had the fairy in it. Probably shouldn't do that. Uh, I probably don't need it on. I probably don't need it on for this this phase here. But actually, you know, it might be good. It might be good for the first part. If I start get taking hits, then I take it off. Alright, there we go. Very nice. You found the combat things, minus four, minus two, zero, plus two, plus four. And it's just damage you receive. So it's like armor rings, armor ring, power ring, in terms of like damage that you take and outgoing damage is unaffected. 
I mean, we'll have to play around with it, right? We'll play around with, like, the harder ones. <laughs> Take more damage, essentially. And see, see how it plays out. If we dish out less damage and take more damage, like having an armor ring equipped plus a power ring equipped. But yeah, that was fun. A lot of fun stuff. We got to see some of the, the newer stuff. Like the uh, digging spots, the old men. Not too crazy in terms of the seed itself. I do kind of wish we could have gotten to see a little bit more, but... That's what happens when you roll four essences. Yeah, peaceful, easier, vanilla, harder, insane. Yeah, so probably just in terms of damage you take, so it's easier for you if you put it on the easier settings and then harder if you put it on the harder ones. But outgoing damage could be a thing too. Uh, in terms of things that happen to seed of uh, bombs. Remember, at the very beginning, we ended up getting two things in the shop. It was a bomb and the gnarled key. We wanted that gnarled key, not the bombs. We ended up having eight bomb, bomb packs, so we had 80 bombs by the end of the seed. I think it should be easy enough to find bombs that we don't need to buy them in the shop immediately anymore. Yeah, I, I could always change the amount of essences required. I, I just kind of set it on a random roll. Just to play around with things. But yeah, maybe, maybe we start doing like 8 essence runs again. See how those go. But with this many things going on, like 8 essences takes a little bit longer. So I kind of like having a middle tier. Like a four to six is not bad. But yeah, a lot of this is just experimentation, playing around with settings, seeing all these new things, um, and having fun. That's the number one thing. Just have fun with the game. And if you enjoyed watching some Seasons Rando, make sure to hit that like, hit the subscribe, follow, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you next time.